Hey everyone, welcome back to Buddy Developers. I'm Naveen and today we will show you how to create a custom transparent header using Elementor. If you want your default header to look like our Buddy Developers website with a sleek transparent design, keep watching until the end. Let's get started. First, go to the WordPress dashboard. Then select pages and click all pages. Choose the home page because a transparent header is usually on the home page. Next, click Edit with Elementor showing our home page and the default header is showing. We'll turn it off first. To do that, select Page Settings and on the left side in Settings, change the page layout from default to Elementor Canvas. Now you see the default header is off. We can now create the transparent header as we like. First, we will take a container for the transparent header. Click the plus icon and then click the plus icon again. You see Flexbox and Grid options. We'll click the Flexbox option and then choose three column boxes. To better understand the header section, we'll give it a background color. In the left style settings under background, select classic and choose black. Now, in the first box, we'll add our site logo. Click the plus icon in the first box. And from the left blocks, drag the image block into the first box. Then upload the logo by clicking choose and selecting the logo from the media library. Adjust the logo size and height to look good. And if you want to know how to create a logo, there is a video on our channel, you can watch that video. The link is provided in the description box and you can check out the channel if you want. Then center the logo by clicking on the image block and setting the content to justify center. Next we'll add a menu in the second box. In the left blocks, search for WordPress to show the menu block. Drag the WordPress menu block into the second box. Center the menu block by selecting it and setting its settings to justify center. Align the items to the right by setting the line items to end. To change the menu text color to white, select the menu, go to style settings and change the text color to white. Now in the last box we'll add social media icons. Search for social in the left blocks and select social icons. Drag the social icons into the last box. Center the icons by going to box settings and setting justify center. Then align the items to the right by setting align items to end. Style the social icons by going to style settings, adjusting the size and adding some spacing. Adjust the menu box slightly to the right and the social box slightly to the right to make it look balanced. Finally, select the header section, go to the left settings and under advanced, set the margin to 0 and the bottom margin to minus 100. Now you see the header is not visible. To fix this, give the header a ZX11 so it will appear. Now to remove the background color of the heater section, we give the style background and click once again on classic. Then the background color will be removed. Now there is a white space at the top of the header. To remove this, select the header section again, go to advanced and set the bottom margin to minus 120. Also slightly reduce the logo size. Now our transparent header is completely ready. Final, click publish button. Now let's preview how the transparent header looks like on our site, see how nice it looks. We also provide WordPress development services. So if you need a customized theme or additional features for your website, we can help. To hire us, go to buddydevelopers.com and click on the hire us button. We'll also add the link in the description below. Join our Facebook group for support and help with your directory, WooCommerce, BuddyPress and WordPress. It's a great place to ask questions, share your experiences and connect with others who have the same interests. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. 
body developers for more WordPress tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.